Developing Good Habits, a devotional reading from the book, The Faith I Live By, by author Ellen White. I have refrained my feet from every evil way, that I might keep thy word. Psalms 119 verse 101. We are nearing the end of time, and we want now not to meet the world's tastes and practices, but to meet the mind of God, to see what set the scriptures, and then to walk according to the light which God has given us. The youth are forming habits which will, in nine cases out of ten, decide their future. The influence of the company they keep, the associations they form, and the principles they adopt will be carried with them through life. We shall be individually, for time and eternity, what our habits make us. The lives of those who form right habits and are faithful in the performance of every duty will be as shining lights, shedding bright beams upon the pathway of others. There is no need of being spiritual dwarfs if the mind is continually exercised in spiritual things. But merely praying for this and about this will not meet the necessities of the case. You must habituate the mind to concentration upon spiritual things. Exercise will bring strength. Many professed Christians are in a fair way to lose both worlds. To be half a Christian and half a worldly man makes you about one hundredth part a Christian and all the rest worldly. The mind must be educated and disciplined to love purity. A love for spiritual things should be encouraged. He must be encouraged if you would grow in grace and in the knowledge of the truth. The will must be exercised in the right direction. I will be a wholehearted Christian. I will know the length and breadth, the height and depth of perfect love. Listen to the words of Jesus. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Matthew 5 verse 6 Ample provisions are made by Christ to satisfy the soul that hungers and thirsts for righteousness. This was your devotional reading. May the grace of God be with you as we await His second coming. For this and other devotionals, feel free to subscribe. God bless.